What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello. My name is Natalie and this is my channel, Music to Makeup. My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. So, today is Christmas Eve. It will be after Christmas by the time this is up. I am going to my best friend's house to spend Christmas Eve with her and her family and to see her new house. I'm so excited and I just wanted to do a quick video and it is going to be a, a first impressions slash wear test of the Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation. I also do a first impressions of the Catrice Light Correcting Serum Primer. I use this on one side and then I use another primer on the other side. And then I go in with the foundation. This was $10.99. I they were both $10.99 actually, and Ulta was having a buy one get one half off. So that's why I decided to try these. This had a lot of good reviews. So for 11 bucks, I'm like, hey, I might as well try it. The only thing I did not like, they had like hardly any shades. There are literally four shades on Ulta. But I did look up the Catrice Cosmetics website and they do have more shades on there. Not many, they still only, ha only have 18, but there are more available on their website. So if you would like to see how this foundation Applies my thoughts on it, and I'm gonna check in throughout the night to see if my makeup is breaking up or moving or any of that jazz. So, yeah, let's get right into it. And if you do like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. I love you all, and I will see you next time. Okay, so today we are going to be trying out the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Lasts up to 24 hours. I don't know if you can see, but a big chip of my glass came off. Thank you, FedEx or UPS, whoever, whoever you are. There is only four shades on the Ulta website though. I honestly don't even know if this is going to match. This is a light beige. It was the lightest one they had so I went with it. An ultra light high coverage foundation for a natural looking finish. Covers imperfections and mattifies the skin creating a smooth and even complexion for up to 24 hours. Features a unique dropper applicator. Oh yeah, it's really unique. Never seen that before. And it was the buy one, get one, I think half off. So I also got the Catrice Light Correcting Serum Primer in Candlelight. I kind of want to try this too, but I kind of want to use a primer that I know works well. I'm going to use my Forsali Skin Tune Blur. Uh, since they're both like primer serum primers, I will use the Catrice on one side and then I'll use the Forsali on the other. And then we'll try out the foundation. Oh my god, you guys. So they came out with like an illuminating version of this. It's supposed to give your skin like a glass-like look. I guess there's some like makeup ritual like called glass skin and it's 11 different steps but they're all combined into one. It was sold out for a long time on their website and it's finally back in stock so I ordered it. I can't wait to get it but that's besides the point. So let us get started. I will start out with the Catrice Light Correcting Serum Primer. This is my first time trying any of their products, so let's see. 
Okay, it's very creamy. It doesn't have a smell, a scent. I think I put way too much on. dropper applicator. So convenient. <laughs> so unique. Illuminating. It's very tacky. Not very, but it is pretty tacky. Now, let me go in with the Farsali Skin Tune Blur on the other side. Another unique dropper applicator. So now that I look like a disco ball on one side, <laughs> not the other. <laughs> I'll use a brush on one side. I'm gonna get confused what I did on what side and what I used and <laughs> let me just it looks kind of dark. Let me see. This is a Morphe M439. I don't like this whole unique dropper deal. Not my style. Mm. It is very lightweight. Oh wow. This shade is alright, I guess. And then here is reality. So it is thin, but it, it is full coverage. Um, it's nice that it's very lightweight. look the same. I am feeling this foundation so much. It's a natural finish. Ah! I always get a hair right there immediately after I put my foundation on. I ruin it. But it's also very natural and it is very lightweight and doesn't completely dry down it still like has a healthy amount of like dewiness to it like a natural matte but I am going to put my concealer on and powder and then I will come back and show you what it looks like well, I'll zoom you in real quick I 
But she let you do the grown folks thing You hang with the boys and they play you like a fool girl You got your new her, it looks so good You write the same name in your notebook You know what I'm saying, you the past The one you let smash, now you see a rascal and you won't look And girl, you is fine, ain't no doubt about it But why else you think you hit it and you forgot about it It's cause your mind don't match what your ass got You're looking for a man like you need somebody Get your ass off the Twitter, you could be somebody A doctor, a rock star, baby, live life but you read with your pillow all night. Okay, so I have my concealer and powder down. And here is what it looks like. So it definitely did oxidize some. I, I used my Huda Beauty concealer, which is a little bit too light for me. So it kind of balanced everything out. I don't really notice a difference in the sides they honestly both look not true my pores are definitely smaller on this side like around my cheek area they are definitely I can definitely see a difference they're well, a little bit more prominent but I did use an illuminating primer on this side so I kind of was expecting that but as far as it's like very minor I probably I would only be able to notice it but I do notice it so just so you guys know about that but overall this like foundation is amazing for $10.99 I would definitely recommend going on their website though to see their very small but full range of colors so I am going to finish my makeup and then I will check in with you guys throughout the night and let you know how it's holding up. All right. Okay, so I completely forgot to do any check-ins. I was just having fun and completely forgot. So right now it is 1.17 a.m. So it has been eight hours since I have had it on. I did have to touch up with some powder. Um, it did start to come off around my nose, um, my chin a little bit. I started having some creasing here, but I mean it has been eight hours. But besides that, it is holding up very well. It's supposed to be like a dupe for the Fenty. I, I really do like this foundation. I think it would work better on or oily skin, like normal to oily. Um, it's not drying. It's just, I don't know. I really like it. I do. I, for 11 bucks, I think it's really good. It's not like, oh my god, this is the best foundation I've ever used, but this is also my first time trying it. So I'm just going to have to keep on trying it and see how I like it. Um, Alright, so I think that is it. I definitely do recommend it if you can find your shade. Alright guys, well it is Christmas now, so Merry Christmas and I will see you guys next time.